little sneak peek what I got going on here in the shop today man I have a lot of crap anyway that's for another video <laughs> uh well day three for the guys it didn't go as well as um everybody would have liked it to uh one person had their very fastest pass ever in fact i think two people had their very fastest pass ever and uh our number one guy there who's always in contention keith finstad uh it seems like the fairmont is hurt um he thinks that there is probably something wrong with the cylinder maybe a hole in it uh, you can look at the plug here but long story short uh, after the passes today uh, in this video Keith had to kind of make a plan to get on home because the Fairmont wasn't gonna make it the rest of the way now let me explain something to you the Fairmont has been on I want to say seven or more drag and drive events it has finished every single time until now and it's still running on seven cylinders we're not sure what's wrong but uh he's it's not completely down and out so hopefully he said his plan is to get it back here this weekend pull the motor out tear it apart and see what happens so i'd like to see if i can get over there and uh, check that out with him so we'll see if we can make that happen um but tough break for keith sorry Sorry to see you go through it, bud, man. That's that that's terrible. We know you're the one that actually is competitive in these drag and drive stuff. <clears throat> and competitive with a carburetor and a blow-through turbo, which everybody seems to think doesn't work, and obviously it works really well. So I'm not sure what happened there. I was watching some of the other videos for Drag Week uh, day three today at Byron, and they're saying that the track wasn't very fantastic. So I'm sure there was some fighting of that, but I don't know more details to it. Anyway, let's get to today's video and uh, their passes and uh, see how the drive went. And then uh, uh, tomorrow will be day four and then their last day is on Friday. So let's get after it. Hey y'all, so today was one of those days that we learned one of the hard lessons of drag week. It took us a bit longer to get to the track than we expected it to, so we did roughly 25 minutes to unload, change the wheels, tune the truck, do tech, get in the lanes, and less than five minutes later, Matt ran his lap. It was a 1069, speed was a bit slower. We're probably not gonna do another run today, but we're looking forward to seeing what we can do tomorrow, having learned a couple lessons. Hey there, so 
we had a slight oil down. Uh, I think they're cleaning up the track a little bit. I think we're about to get ready, so it wasn't so bad. But that was the, the last car of Class D. I'm in the lanes uh, with a few other people that are trying to get one more run in. And I think they're closing lanes in what, like an hour and a half? But I didn't hit the scales because they were in a different spot than what I expected, so I kind of out of sight, out of mind. And so we're going to make run more pass. I think the air is going to be a little bit better. Uh, my IETs and I have took my mirrors off and put in delete plates just for, just for giggles. So we're going to see if I can't bring my 60 foot down a little bit uh, based off of you know, maybe having to change the timing and see if we can't do a little bit better today. Uh, so y'all have a good one. Well, there you go. Again, we know Keith is kind of headed up and uh, trying to get home today. I think he rented a box truck and a car dolly so he could fit the trailer, also known as Stubby, in the box truck and then uh, tow the uh, Fairmont. They gotta go about four hours south to Worldwide Technologies Raceway um, where his truck and trailer is and then kind of get loaded up from there and I assumed he'll get on the road. So that's a big bummer, but uh, congrats to Matt for running the next fastest fast. He's ran his fastest fast every single day this week so far. Um, and Chuck went 667, and I forgot the mile an hour, again, but that's super impressive. But we're all super bummed for Keith because he's kind of like our hero. Uh, not kind of like, he is our hero with this stuff. So uh, we'll get him in sick week, Keith. and. Uh, I've got some plans for this, so I don't know if it'll be ready for sick week, and if it's not, well, maybe we'll swap over to this guy for uh, for one of them. And uh, yeah, this thing is just spiraling out of control. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're uh, new to the channel because of drag week or anything like that, or you stumble across our channel, we have all kinds of stuff going on. We got a Sonoma GT out there. We got a Bel Air and. A 
Nova and an L two LS swap Dakotas. Only one of them's LS swapped at the moment. I guess you can't even call it that because that's the motor. Anyway, we got a lot going on. So uh, go check out some of the other videos. We also do some like rescues and stuff like that, just to kind of give a synopsis if you're new. Um, and if you like it, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along and checking out some of the new videos. If you are a subscriber, we are almost at 3,000 subscribers and I just would have never thought that would happen. So consider us completely blessed for that and uh, we couldn't be more happy to have you guys along and more appreciative for sure. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one. Until next time, you guys know the deal. Y'all be good. <laughs>